Hey, any fish? Still the 8th of May, 2018. And once again, I see something here, just checking the news, that just fits right in with everything. There's a lot going on, people. This, this spiritual war is just manifesting all around us, okay? Apparently, this happened last night. Rihanna and Lena Waithe dress for a future era church. And there she is, complete with all the Pope regalia, including the Dagon hat. Okay? Let's not forget. That's important. So there she is. They have this big gala here. Right? And then we have Trump. Switching from the 12th, he was going to decide on this, to today. Okay? Of all days. And I'm going to show you why that's relevant here in a second. But when I saw this here, this reminded me of a video that I saw last night. And this this whole gala event is just off the hook, people. You you of course I'll link it, but you got to just I mean, I'm speechless over some of this stuff. It's so crazy. Look at this one here. Uh, this is like my skin, she says. I'm proud to be in it as she desecrates it, right? Lena Waithe, who's legally dressed, blah, blah, blah. I got the community on my back to make sure that I got their back. So she's pressured to do this. Is Essentially, that's what she's saying. I got the community on my back. The community. The theme to me is like, be yourself. In other words, do what thou wilt. You were made in the image of God, right? This is absolutely off the charts man this is crazy so we have this happening and like i said it reminded me of a video i saw last night steve benoon israeli news live he was talking about the pope and how he how the vatican is so intricately involved in this whole deal it's involved in everything to do with jerusalem i'm telling you right now everything we see the Pope and the Vatican are in the dark, doing their council, and they're just putting it all together. And they're going to reveal their new world order. I'm telling you, this is what's going to happen. But in the meantime, we got God speaking to us left and right. Okay? So I see that. I see this craziness. And I hear Steve Benoon, and he's talking about how the Pope was in Jerusalem in 2014 okay and it was on May the 26th right around Pentecost okay remember that because this is crazy May 26 20 9 44 a.m. okay figure that out it's 1 44 somewhere there's another 1 44 there which we got to remember from yesterday justify the 144th Kentucky Derby, as these people justify and glorify themselves. Okay, this is the manifestation of Satan, people. So we had the Pope in Jerusalem, in the upper room, doing his little ritual deed there, right? On May 26, 2014. Well, get a load of this. And, I mean, you want to talk about being in accord with my brethren, man. If I didn't see Steve Benoon's video, I never would have saw this, right? But please, keep in mind, the 144 that everybody's been seeing, I know I have, like crazy. From that time of the s Pope being in Jerusalem to today, 100. 1,444 days. Three years, 11 months, and 13 days. That is off the hook. That's crazy. And then we take into consideration when Trump signed the whole Jerusalem embassy deal on December the 6th. I had to look at that and check out what that is, man. This is just crazy. From December the 6th to today, when he does the Iran thing, 153 days. That's nuts. 
And again, there's so much more, so much more that I want to show you guys. But this stuff here, I mean, look at this. You can't, you, you just, if you do not see the times that we're in, if you do not see the sheer evil just manifesting and engulfing this world, and you're not saved by the blood of Christ, I suggest highly, highly that you get to it immediately. You get to it now. Seek Jesus through the word of God. Okay? And there is so much more I want to show you guys about this. It is completely and utterly off the hook. I can't say it enough. It's so crazy. But there you go. Today. 1,444 days ago, the Pope was in the upper room in Jerusalem, where the disciples, they all received the Holy Spirit. This is nuts. So, just had to show it to you. Back to work. Peace and grace to y'all. I'm sure I'll be back. Any fish.